diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Leandre Crosby, who's a linebacker at Walsh University. How you doing, man? It's going good, Jimmy. How are you doing? It's, it's going well. Um, can you just describe to our viewers a little bit about your overall career? Okay. Uh, the journey started out at uh, Zanesville High School, uh, again, all Ohio there. Uh, wasn't really highly recruited out of high school, um, to, to my doing. Uh, not very good grades. Uh, so we were... Uh, not really highly recruited out of high school. Um, got a couple hits, you know, a little bit of buzz. Uh, signed to ODU, Ohio Dominican University. Then didn't really feel right. Just something was really just rubbing me wrong a little bit. Uh, called Coach Cummings, good guy. Told him, you know, I don't feel like it's comfortable. Uh, Walsh reached out to me. And, um, you know, I've been here for four years. Uh, going to my senior year, you know. And uh, I think it's it's been a good uh, journey. Got some good accolades, uh, all conference, all year, uh, all region. And uh, I think things are uh, going the right direction for me here. Cool. So, I mean, again, like you said, I mean, you've, you've been uh, all conference a few different times. Um, really been, uh, you know, really one of the better defensive players at the Division II level. Uh, again, at least one of the guys that I believe um, you know, really needs to, you know, needs to get out there that people really need to, need to know. Um, yeah. I have you in my, uh, in my note, six foot one, 245 pounds. So definitely a legitimate size for a linebacker. Um, uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, what you believe is the best part of your game. What's the best thing you bring to the table? I think uh, the best thing I bring to the table, Jimmy, is that I just, uh, I go hard no matter what it is. I go hundred percent, go hundred percent, 10 percent all the time. I bring my hard hat, my lunch pail, and I go to work. Cool. So definitely putting your best foot forward each and every day. So uh, awesome. Um, so uh, tell me what kind of a linebacker are you? Are you a Mike or a Sam, a Will? What have you been doing? And maybe what do we expect uh, of you in the coming season? That's a good question. I uh, So in high school, I played Mike. Um, slid out to Will for the past three years. been playing here. I've been doing pretty good at it. Uh, you know, you don't win unless you got a lot of seniors. So people have been graduating. You know, we got a good senior class. And uh, I think with everyone graduating and stuff that uh, it'd be best if I, you know, slipped out to the outside, uh, rushed the quarterback a little bit, stood up, a little hook zone drop, um, kind of just to, to get in the quarterback's, uh, getting his distraction a little bit so he don't got no time to throw the ball. Great. And, um, you know, what have you been working on this particular offseason in order to take your game to the next level? Is there any aspect of your game that um, you're specifically working on? I uh, mean, a group of friends, you know, we've been heading the weight room hard five days a week, uh, the whole summer, you know, even with work, even with being tired, uh, trying to get faster, stronger, you know, more explosive, uh, just work on my hand and eye. Really, anything, Jimmy, that could get me better and then make me a better student of the game, so that I'm ready and, and I'm ready to seize that moment. Anything in the summer, I think I think we're we're really just trying to get on everything. Great, and um, I have in my notes that you were actually uh, pretty good on special teams as well, getting at least a few block kicks. Um, talk to me maybe about your experience uh, as a special teamer, maybe some of the things that you do there. Yeah, so that kind of just it really just got me going. That kind of like is what made my name because I was a special teams player my freshman year, you know, kind of going down and making plays all the time. And it kind of transitioned to, you know, each game just making a statement. The first play of the game, you know, hard hitting. People like seeing that. People just just love some some raw uh, uh, football. So I think just, I know, just bringing intensity to the, the, and the special teams part of it because it can be kind of boring, like can be really, really just like, oh, I don't really care about this. But, I mean, it's really important to – game especially in college and in the NFL like special teams can be the difference between you winning and losing the game so I think uh being good on that it, it definitely benefits me well great and, and obviously that's usually where a lot of guys end up cutting their teeth in the pros so it's definitely great that you have that experience and, and definitely the willingness to go out there and just add some intensity also on, the, on special teams um yeah. speaking of intensity uh let's talk about you in the weight room because I know you can um you know 
lift some iron. So uh, talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, your, you know, the things that you do well in the weight room, maybe your, your favorite exercises or your maxes that you're willing to share. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think my favorite one would probably be front squat just because I feel like it really helps me with my explosiveness and uh, really just helps you with the overall, uh, your back squat transitions. Uh, I've maxed out at four or five this summer uh, in front squat and maxed out at 615 and back. Uh, and I maxed out at uh, 410 and, and the bench press and uh, 340 and uh, the clean. So we've just been really just hitting, you know, high, high reps, low reps, high volume, low volume, you know, just staying active every day and trying to, you know, be a beast in the weight room. Great. So obviously, um, you know, raw physical athlete, I mean, certainly have the, the measurables that um, I feel like a lot of people really love uh, for a guy. Um, and again, this is a division two athlete that we're talking about right here um, that can do a lot of great things that, you know, even some of the guys at, you know, the power five conferences uh, can't do. So um, also in my notes, you told me at one point in time, uh, you have uh, 24 reps at the 205, uh, 225 pounds, uh, which is nice. And I know that you're working to get that number up as well. And in addition to that, you have um, a 46540, uh, all of which um, is, is very, um, very great, um, you know, very noteworthy um, that I feel like a lot of people just love um, in an athlete um, that certainly projects to the next level. Um, can you just share maybe a memorable moment or play throughout your career so far? Maybe a highlight that uh, you're willing to share? It's a, it's like a, it's a real good question because there's, just, there's just so many plays and so many moments just throughout the, you know, the journey of uh, getting here to this point. I think just we're playing, actually we're playing Malone. Uh, it's third down. We're on a 25 yard line. It's cold sprinkling a little bit. And, uh, you can't really see, you kind of got your head down, so the water's not dripping in your eyes. And uh, coach called my number, it was a blitz. One-on-one -on -one with the running back, I'm thinking, you know, he's either gonna hit me high or hit me low. He ended up hitting me low, and he flipped me. Oh, it was a hard hit, he flipped me. I did a 360 over him, somersault, whatever you wanna call it, flip. And uh, ended up sacking the quarterback. Uh, I ended up having to kick a field goal and missed it, so it was a big play in the game, and definitely one of my, probably one of my most profound moments for sure. That's a, that, that sounds very crazy, you know, just kind of doing that flip yeah. like that and still making that play. Um, is that video out there somewhere? Like, can I find it, like, on uh, Twitter or YouTube or something? Yeah, it's on my, uh, my junior highlight film. Cool. Um, I'll have to see if I can find that whenever I get, it, get some time. Um, so, also, in my notes, I have that you were um, a wrestler in high school as well as um, – a, a very good uh, track and field athlete um, getting a 61 foot nine inch shot foot. Um, talk to me maybe about your experience in other sports um, and how those have helped translate to the football field for you. Yeah, so it's basically like, um, I like this little saying, it's uh, kind of like a master of all, all trade jacks of nine. Like you really just, I don't know, you get everything in your arsenal and you kind of get it together and you use it from, from you know, throwing chop put and working on explosiveness uh, and the running aspect of the four by one. Uh, it really just, you know, helps you just be an overall athlete. You're working on your core, you're working on, you know, we're th you're, throw you're talking about a 12 pound ball that you're holding in your hand and throwing from your neck. So, I mean, you've got to get a lot, a lot of oomph behind it for it to go. So like everything transitioned to that and then Going into wrestling, I mean, you're talking about playing football and, and doing track, and we're going right to wrestling. So, I mean, you just got to imagine the shape and just the, the mentality that you're in and, you know, staying active. But the wrestling itself just, I feel like, just transformed me as a whole, transformed my body, my, my, my form, defined more. Uh, I think just it helped me with footwork, uh, got my hands stronger, you know, work on body balance. And it was just, it was overall, I feel like, good for my, it, it helped me in my athletic career and it has been helping me and compliments me a lot. Great. So um, let's just take a moment to uh, you step aside from sports for a little bit. Um, talk to, talk to me a little bit about who you are, uh, you know, maybe as a student there at uh, Walsh, uh, maybe what your major is or, or any other, um, you know, passions outside of football that you're willing to share about yourself, your hobbies, your interests, anything of that sort. Okay. Um, 
my major here at Walsh is uh, communications and I have a minor in psych and uh, I plan to graduate uh, in, this, in the spring. I um, really just, I've been involved with the Black Student Union here. We have a, a program with our football team, it's the leadership group. And basically it's the team that puts in the most community service gets a big trophy at the end of the year. So whoever puts in the most hours. So, you know, it's a competition between me and my peers, my teammates, but we get to, you know, give back to the community at the same time. Uh, I've been part of the YMCA a couple of times. I've given back to the animal shelter, you know, walked a lot of dogs, you know, just trying to be a, a profound like figure in the community. Uh, I want to say, I don't know why, but I've just, I've been really itching, picking up golf. I've been golfing a lot, uh, going to the driving range. Um, I enjoy you know, just spending quality time with my daughter. Uh, but other than that, you know, that's just the life of Walsh right now. Cool. Um, so uh, let's just take a moment, maybe give a shout out to a few guys. Um, talk to me maybe about some of your mentors, your coaches, um, and, and maybe what they really mean to you. Uh, talk to me about your coaches. Okay. Um, along with coaches, I'd say I give a shout out, basically the life coach uh, to the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. One of my big brothers' name is uh, John Merriweather, and uh, we've been big brother little brother since I was six and we've been shooting it up ever since and he's been real real uh big figure in my life without my father being there and uh I wanted to give a shout out to coach G down in Zanesville uh go Blue Devils um he really opened my eyes to have an opportunity to get you know seen with football and it being you know a way to to put food on on my plate but not only my plate now my daughter's plate so you know, shout out to him and the whole uh, Blue Devil staff. Great. Kind of along those same lines, um, uh, tell me about at least one of your teammates there at, at Walsh that uh, we really need to know, uh, maybe an up-and-comer or somebody that um, uh, you, you've had as a teammate uh, throughout the years. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've, I've had a lot of good teammates um, throughout the years. Uh, right now, the, the mic beside me, you know, we've got a lot of chemistry. We came in together. You know, that's my man, my right-hand man. We're everywhere together. So I'd say, yeah, South Side Botham, something to look out for and something special uh, is uh, on the offensive side, Kobe Adepoku. Um that's a, that's a pretty good hard guy to tackle. Cool. Um, as we begin to wrap up a little bit, I always ask guys this question, even though uh, it's corny, maybe cliche, but um, – Give me your why, maybe your motivation. Um, uh, why do you play football? Go ahead. I really just started out just, you know, doing it to hang around my friends. And I picked up the game naturally almost. And, you know, it's just been a, one of my niches and my love and just been, you know, been I've been in the driver's seat. Literally just the football could take me anywhere. Uh, really, really pick up from uh, – just seeing my brothers and, and, and me struggle all the time and my mom being a single mom. So, you know, all that and then having a, a little girl on top of that is just, I don't know, it's just one big aura of having the why. Just so many things in it. You can't really mention everything, but there's definitely some things that, that really drive me in. Those are the couple of things. Great. And a uh, very final question for you. Give me your uh, final pitch to a professional team, maybe 30 seconds. You know, what would they be getting if they signed you? What do you bring as a teammate? I bring high intensity. I bring a football IQ. I bring humbleness. And I bring the one to be coached. And I've just waited for an opportunity to have one for a long time because I've been to D2 level and, and not had many, you know, outlets or, or being seen. And it just feels like you have nothing to show for it. I feel like if I get a chance or an opportunity, I'm going to seize it, Jimmy. Great. Well, again, uh, uh, like I had said before, obviously a, a, a big name at the Division II level that I feel like does have the potential to go to the pros. Uh, six foot one, 245 pound linebacker, um, probably going to be playing a little bit of outside this uh, upcoming season whenever we hit the field. Um, definitely raw physical guy, um, you know, in the weight room, uh, doing, his, doing his thing. Um, really need to get to know his name again, his name. Leandre Crosby, uh, thank you so much for your time, bud. Uh, best of luck to you uh, this upcoming season and moving forward. Thanks a lot. Thank you.